Okay, in this presentation what we are going to do is appraise binary classification procedures. So you might have encountered quite a few binary classification procedures such as logistic regression or random forest classifiers and so on. And what they are used to do is uh, predict binary outcome, a yes or a no, a one or a zero, a true or a false and so on. Okay. Now, uh, there's a lot of interesting theory stuff. Accuracy, precision and recall, which we'll sort of have a look at here. There's F measures, which is a sort of combination of the two. And then there's things like specific specificity and uh, sensitivity. Now, we won't get into too much detail, but there is a really good uh, Wikipedia article on that. Okay. So what I'm going to do actually is, I'm not going to use a real life data set. I'm going to use an artificially generated data set where I'm just going to pick uh, randomly generate uh, uh, 10,000 cases okay and I'm going to sort of assign a small proportion of them the value 1 and the rest of them 0 so I'm going to just use numpy, numpy for this import numpy as mp uh, generate uh, two arrays uh, uh, two arrays uh, single dimensional arrays mp dot zeros just 10,000 for both in both cases just to start off with, I have 10,000 uh, uh, zeros in both cases. Uh, what I'll do then is randomly pick integers, uh, sorry, uh, indices, uh, from one, uh, 0 to 10,000, okay, 300, 400, and 500 respectively. And what I'll do is just assign them the values uh, 1, okay. So uh, what happens there is just to make sure that there's a sufficient overlap. I actually uh, have indices, indices 1 is for Y pred, indices 2 is for Y test, and indices 3 is for both. So just actually that so there be a reasonable amount in common uh, would have uh, one uh, between, uh, would, would have one in common between Y test and Y pred. Okay, so let's just look at it there. Let's test it out. So we have uh, 858 cases in Y test where the uh, outcome is 1 and presumably about 9142 where the answer uh, number is 0 okay and 774 okay so what I'm going to do here is calculate the accuracy score how many did we get right okay so we seemingly get uh, 9 uh, not point nine three nine okay that is the accuracy score for our uh, our classification procedure very simplistic though I mean well, it's just actually how, how I, we haven't really performed an, uh, uh, a procedure but we got an accuracy score and really we don't know how to interpret it so it's sort of not completely useless but we need to know more than that so this is where we bring in the confusion matrix. Now this actually sort of encapsulates our data. Okay. So uh, what we're going to do here is we have, uh, this is our uh, Y test, Y pred, and uh, a, co a confusion matrix. Okay. A little bit confusing there that I think I uh, picked out at least 300 of those. I might have made a little mistake somewhere but anyway it doesn't matter it actually looks like a fairly plausible there's a little mistake there somewhere but that it actually looks like a fairly plausible confusion matrix so I'm just going to keep going with it okay so this is the by the way Y test then Y pred okay the observed values then the predicted values so these are our, our observed zeros and th that's our observed ones and so that is where we get that uh, 0.939 Essentially, out of the 10,000 cases, we got the uh, 9,390 of them uh, correct. And it's actually brought that number is the uh, sum of that number there, 8879, and this number here, 511. Okay. Now, so we got this wrong. This is false positives, the number of false positives, and this is the number of false negatives. Okay. So that's a bit of a problem, okay? So out of, uh, this is 858 uh, uh, ob uh, observed uh, positive cases, we only correctly identified 511. 
that's not particularly amazing okay out of the uh, 774 that we predicted to be positive only 511 actually were positive those are two metrics that we are more interested in okay so one is called precision and one is called recall okay and they are sort of determinable from the classification report okay so the class it's uh, the classification report now really this is the one you're particularly interested in this one here okay so uh, the 0 0.65 and the 0 0.58 okay so precision is or sorry the recall is how many of those of the observed cases were correctly uh, predicted to be uh, positive and it turns out it's only like 58% okay this is not great to be honest with you it's not too it's not bad but it's not great okay uh, out of the predicted uh, cases only 65% like 511 out of 774 only 511 were correct so that's about 0.65 actually if you ch if you chase it up the numbers will be a little bit different from the R. Well, they might be. Well, that's rounded to two, two decimal places anyway. Okay. So, um, what? Uh, so, essentially, what I'm going to do there. So, essentially, what happens here is the F measure is the aggregation of the two. Okay. So, it's a way of combining these two measures it's a, it's, uh, into one metric. It's called the uh, a harmonic mean okay uh, it's a very interesting topic so essentially these are the uh, three key parts okay now the support is I'm not that fussed about it to be honest with you okay I'll leave that for another time so those are the key things okay so now what we're going to do is uh, import a precision recall curve okay and this is essentially what we're going to do here is we are going to uh, calculate the precisions, the recalls, and so on. And that's it. Actually, do you know what? That is probably just going a little bit too far for what we need right now. I think really uh, precision, uh, recall, and F measures are all I really need to get done in this video. So I'll leave it there.